Hey everyone, Maven here, and I wanted to take this moment to update you guys on what's been going on and extrapolate on some things I mentioned in my last update video. Uh, first off, I have not forgotten the channel. The lack of content has not been for lack of trying. Although recently, you might be able to call it that. I'll go into that in a bit. But first off, YouTube and Twitch. Now, YouTube is obviously the biggest defender here. If you're at all knowledgeable about what's going on with YouTube and gaming, it's not being very nice. Flags can very easily turn into strikes, and the strikes can very easily turn into mass disabling the features, and those can easily turn into your channel just suddenly being gone. So, what with YouTube being, you know, somewhat... I guess I'll call it evil. Evil in, their, in the way they're going about things. Sort of betraying their own, suppose, in terms of service. I've been trying to stay on the safe side of things, so whenever I get a flagged video, I remove it, or I try to fix it. I've gotten many suggestions, and thank you for the suggestions, on how to fix that, how to, you know, record differently. The problem is, I either don't have the knowledge or the tools to do many of those, and the others just aren't working. So, YouTube has been sort of cut down to talks videos, you know? And uh, the occasional highlight from Twitch that gets imported. So the lack of content, lack of Let's Play, that's why. And I would love to do more of the topics, but, and talks, but that just doesn't, it's hard to get the ball rolling on that when you can't get the ball rolling on the simpler stuff, you know? It takes time, it takes thought in preparing a talks video, even if I get a bit rambly at times. As for Twitch, uh, I mean, they're making their own copyright claims, even on my no copyright sounds music, which is lovable. They're taking their sweet time in their responses as well, so they've not been particularly helpful. But the biggest issue is the fact that something on their side is actively preventing me from connecting to their servers a lot of the time. I get major lag, I get huge pain crazy amounts of times where I'll just be offline to everyone who's watching when I am very clearly broadcasting. <sighs> my OBS settings are extremely conservative at this point, so it can't be that, and my internet connection works like, you know, magic. I can be doing all sorts of other stuff on Twitch at the same time, but no, no, can't stream myself. So, that cut back and prevented me from having a regular streaming schedule, which really stopped me, because I love doing this. I really do, and this is my biggest hobby currently. My biggest hobby that doesn't directly rely on the involvement of other people. It just relies on the involvement of evil corporations. <sighs> I a kid, of course, they're not evil necessarily, but just not being friendly to small tech. I don't even want to make money, that's the weird thing, you know? I'm not doing this for a profit. Any proceeds and donations I get go immediately straight into making a better product. That's it. That is entirely my thing. This is a hobby. This is me doing something I love for the sake of doing something I love. So. If they really think that is a major threat to their multi-million dollar corporations and businesses, then whatever, but it doesn't seem like that from my end. But now here's the real kicker. Even if I wanted to stream, I can't anymore. For the third time, My Alienware desktop's power supply has gone kaput. I can ba I can boot the thing up and I can do things on the computer, but... 
any time within 30 minutes of it turning on to a couple of hours of it turning on, it'll just go. <laughs> and then it's like, bye bye stream, bye bye recording, bye bye any saved data you had on your games. It's gone. So you can see why uh, it's not particularly easy. And even before that, there were other issues. I'm not going to go into a detail, but long story short, I've mentioned before how I'm an extremely depressed person. Uh, well, I shouldn't say depressed person. I'm actually quite cheery when I'm not in the midst of a depression. But, ah, chronic depression sucks. Let's just put it that way. I'll go into it further in another, de in another, um, another video, but for right now, uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It, it sucks, and it really prevents you from doing the things you love. That being said, because I am saving a lot of my gaming and, you know, my experiences for the time in which I can stream, or in which YouTube does allow me to upload, I figure the least I can do to stay busy is to make these sort of casual sit down and talk videos. Hopefully the, you know, video and sound quality is watchable. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you don't enjoy it, let me know. I'll stop doing them. You know, that's, that's just, the thing, you know, you guys are the subscribers. If you guys don't want something done, I won't do it. It's just that simple. Because I'll be honest, as much as I love doing things for the sake of me, a lot of what my depression stems from is my need to be validated by other people. And you think that's kind of a bad thing to have. Right, it's a really bad thing to have. That's just the way my mind works. I don't have a lot of self-confidence. Streaming, YouTube, big self-confidence. Time, I'm going to be producing these every so often. Just a way of me sitting down, having a topic to talk about, a way to stay busy, keep my brain running, and hopefully entertain you guys at the same time. And uh, I think the first one is going to be either a tour of the room, as you see from the various lovely things around. Uh, you know, it's probably not going to be a tour of the room. It's probably going to be a talk about depression, which is a lovely topic to end, you know, stay entertaining something I feel like I need to talk about to have you guys help help you guys understand me if you don't know where I'm coming from. If you do know where I'm coming from, maybe it'll be just a video to tell you guys that you're not alone. But uh, those things being said, you know, it's not, I've not forgotten the channel. I don't want to stop doing this, Lord knows. If I can do anything to keep gaming, to keep entertaining people, I love doing this. And I might be getting a new computer soon. We'll see about that. I have some people to talk to about that. Um, also, uh, links below the stream. Twitter, that's a very good way of keeping in contact with me. You can also add me to your friends list on uh, Steam. Um, especially if you do it through the Steam group page. Which is also below the stream. And, you know, I'm not gonna refuse hanging out with people. If you guys, you know, wanna hang out with me, then by all means. I'm not exactly a big enough time streamer to be saying, oh no, too many people can't, you know, interact with anyone, you know, on a personal level. No. I'm here for you guys, and hopefully I'd like a few of you to be here for me too. But hopefully this, you know, casuals will setup works out. Hopefully you guys will, you know, stick around for more videos, and hopefully we'll get the Twitch running up in again. And who knows, fingers crossed, there might be a YouTube competitor. There probably will. 
or maybe YouTube will you know, start being more forgiving to us more.